You should totally make quilts and sell them. I would definitely pay at least $75 for something like that. That's a serious comment that I once got from a coworker about a quilt that I once made uh, to donate to a raffle. Typically, quilting and crocheting, knitting, needlework, or women's professions, they're deemed as like trivial hobbies and not a serious profession. And they're not valued the same way that men's work would be. So let's go over the cost of the material for this queen size quilt. It's not completed yet, obviously, because it's just the flimsy as of right now. But let's go over the cost of material for this quilt. For the nine patches, I used one jelly roll. That was $38. The sawtooth stars, I used 12 fat quarters and three yards of background fabric. The fat quarters were three and a half dollars each. So that ended up being $42. And the background fabric was $12 each. And I used three, so that's 36. The inner border, and I'm using the same fabric on the inner border for the binding. And that was one and a half yards total. And that came to $18. The outer border, that was two yards of fabric, so $24. So I still need to buy batting. And the queen size warm and natural batting brand is going to be $36. And I need to buy three yards of wide backing fabric. That's going to be $60. So miscellaneous costs. There's going to be roughly $15 worth of thread. And let's throw in one needle because you have to change your needle every time that you change projects. So this is between one to two dollars. I'm going to say two dollars. So that brings us to two hundred and thirty five dollars. Now you're going to have long arming cost one way or the other on average 0 0.025 cents per inch. So I'm gonna say that's the same price whether you are doing the long arming yourself or you're sending it off. I did the math wrong on this one, so it's actually gonna come out just a little bit cheaper because I thought it was 92 by 92, but it's actually 92 by 108. So let's say 210, $211 for long arming. So we are at $435 so far, minus the labor. Since women's work is typically undervalued and underpaid, you're going to hear a lot of $10 an hour on various sites for labor costs. I am not going to make a quilt for less than $20 an hour. For the sake of this video, let's do $20 an hour. So you have total with prepping the fabric, cutting the fabric, sewing it together, the construction of the individual blocks, and then the individual blocks need to be put together, and then your borders need to be added on. So let's say conservatively, it takes 50 hours and then you have to do your um, binding. A very, very low end on how long that is gonna take, 10 hours. So 60 hours altogether at $20 an hour, that's $1,200 in labor. Queen size quilt, finished. This is obviously just a flimsy, $1,000. $635. So let's kind of get into hourly costs. So let's say that you're getting paid $15 an hour. McDonald's pays their workers $15 an hour. So let's say that you're comfortable with getting paid $15 an hour. That would mean that the labor cost would be $900. Let's take an average skilled labor for men in the United States. Let me read it so I make sure I get it right. Off of the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average hourly wage for a carpenter in the United States is $24.79 with the lowest 10% earning $17.39 on average. So take that however you wanna take it. Essentially what I'm getting at, you can charge whatever you wanna charge. There's no shame in it, but I am not going to be making a quilt for somebody on commission for less than $20 an hour. So whenever somebody asks me the price of how much it would cost to make them a queen size quilt, 
and I come at them with the number of $1,635, they're just like, oh, well, why would I do that? I would just go to Walmart or Target and buy one for $40 or $50. If that's your price point, you're, you should go to Walmart or Target and get yourself a comforter there. That's, that's, that's all. That's all I have to say. Just putting that out there. Leave a discussion in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thought is on it. Okay, talk to you later.